Right, we're going to be looking at doing the isometric view of this third angle orthographic projection. Uh, I've given us a front view, top view, and a left view. Uh, in the textbook, the point A over here is in the wrong place, so you'd have to move that across so as to be able to put point A in where your front view can actually fit. Right, okay, what we're going to do here is we're first going to look at what the length of this object is. Um, how do I work out the length? Well, it says I've got a radius of 40. So 40 plus 40 is going to give me a length of 80. I can measure off 80 quickly. Place that down over here. And I'm going to draw a fish tank. With a length of 80. The height of this, there again, it says that I've got 30. 30 plus 40. The, the radius is 40, so 30 plus 40 gives me 70. I then take a measurement of 70 here, mark that off, and I'm going to get my fish tank in there with a height of 70. Um, the breadth of this, they say, is 35, so I measure off 35. Measure off my 35. I'll line up. Line across there. Over here. Line going across there. Line going across there. And there's my fish tank. Um, what I'm going to do now is to try and find the center of this line. Just take a line coming across there, construction line there, construction line coming down from there and draw a line going back at 30 degrees in order to mark the center. I can draw a center line going up here. Straight away, just draw in that center line. You get marks for it, so you may as well put it in. Right, once I've got that, um, I need to measure off 40 millimeters from the top of this thing in order to find the center of the circle. So I measure 40 millimeters down from that center over there. And I'm going to draw in the center line going across here. Right, once I've got that, um, I now need to think about how I'm going to draw the um, this semicircle that they've got over there. I'm just going to extend this center line down over here. I'm then going to say, right, what is the radius? It says that it is 40. I set my pair of compasses to 40. And I'm going to go to the center over here. There's 40 on that center, 40 on that center, 40 on that center. And then I come down to this extended line over here and I draw in 40 on that center line over there. I'm going to construct my little square, the isometric square, so that I can find the points that I need in order to draw the arcs. At this point over here, I'm going to make a little cross on it. And I'm going to stab the point of the compass in at that point. Extend it out to the center over there. Links up with the center over there. And I can draw in that arc straight away. I'm going to draw a construction line coming across from that center. I'm going to draw a construction line coming in, coming across from that center. I'm going to draw a construction line coming across from that little cross that I just drew there. And I'm going to say, well, how wide was this thing? It says that it is 35 millimeters. So I must measure off 35 millimeters, which I can take straight off the drawing over here. Move it across here. And at that point over there, I can draw in another little cross. From that, I can take that same radius that I just drew that arc, move across over here, place it over there, should link up perfectly with that, that point and that point, and I draw in an arc coming across like that. Right, the next little arc that I need is this smaller arc over here. I'm going to draw a line going from that corner over there down to that corner of the construction line uh, square that I've got. Going all the way down there. Should go exactly through the center. 
Um, I'm going to draw a line going up at 60 degrees. It should go to that center over there. And that will give me the little cross that I need in order to draw my secondary smaller arc over here. I extend my pair of compasses out to a radius of that. Check that it links up perfectly. And draw in that arc. Right. Uh, I need to do that same arc back over here. I'm going to draw in a construction line from that center over there. Just going back. I'm going to measure off my 35 millimeters. There's my 35 millimeters. Go over there to that center. Mark off that center. Take that same radius that I've just used. And over here, I'm going to first just draw a very light little construction line arc in that point over there. There it is. Right. You can just mark off that center that you used. And very importantly, take a tangent line across from that arc to that arc so I know where to draw that, that arc in nice and dark. I then come back and I then finish that arc beautifully over there. Nice and dark going across there. All right, so don't draw the full arc. You're just drawing a portion of it. Okay, once I've got that, well, the rest of it is fairly easy. <laughs> Um, I've got a line going up there, line going up there, and a line going up there. It says that I have 15 millimeter little legs sticking on this thing. Go over there, mark that off there, mark that off there, draw those lines in nice and dark over there, and that line in nice and dark over there. Um, once I've got that, it says that I need to go up a certain distance over here. It says it goes up 20 millimeters. So I measure off 20 millimeters. Draw a construction line coming across here. And draw in dark lines going up to that construction line. Up to that construction line there. Draw a line coming across over here. Then it asks us to draw um, draw a hexagon. I'm just going to finish this thing off, remembering lines coming into the corner must have three lines coming out of it. They've now asked us to draw, draw this hexagon over here, um, and I need to know what the length of the side is. You can see that they've said it's 25 millimeters. I need to draw a construction of a hexagon with sides 25 millimeters. I'm going to take my pair of compasses, set them to 25, come up to the top over here, draw a little arc going around with a radius of 25, draw the center line coming down from the center, go to that point over there, draw in a 60 degree line there, draw in a 60 degree line there, and draw in if you measure, that should be 25, 25, and 25. Right. What I need to do now is to work from my centers. I'm going to take this measurement from the, that line over there to the center. I go to my center of this thing, and I mark off the height of that hexagon. Draw a construction line coming across here. I go back to this. And I measure off that distance from that center line to the end of that line. Go to that point over there. Mark that off over there. Mark that off over there. And I can draw in that top line for my hexagon. I now need to find out how far away from the center it is. There it is. From the center to that point of the hexagon. Come down to my center over here. Mark that off over there. Turn that round, mark that off over there, and I can draw in the rest of my hexagon. <coughs> I 
There it is. And there it is, drawing that in. Right, got one last little line to draw. Um, it is this line over here. I've got two lines coming into that corner, which means that I need that third line coming out. And that is that drawing done.